Welcome back to these nerdy things. Um, I have a video here that I really didn't think I was going to make. Um, I just, Ikoria, these are the Ikoria Collector's Boosters. Um, I picked up two of them. Um, I just, the Ikoria as a set is cool, but also terrible. Um, I think it breaks magic in a lot of ways and forces you to play a certain way and I absolutely hate when a set comes out and there are, you know, certain cards that make you play um, only one way and, um, you know, certainly the companions. I feel like if you're not playing with those in standard, um, massive disadvantage because you get card advantage and th quite frankly, the, um, the strictness of the rules that you have to abide by to have it as your companion are really, really loose. I mean, and then they have the dual mana that, you know, uh, or split mana you can, um, kind of fit it into a lot of different decks um and uh, i just feel like that mechanic i don't want to necessarily like support that um because i think that's really unhealthy is you know starting to mess with you know stuff like that um i liked it a lot better when you had to let your deck building and stuff like that when you just get to have a card um uh, just because and a lot of them are fairly you know strong in terms of power creep so it is uh, sorry enough with my rant with Ikoria the, the, the at least with the negative the the positive this actually has really cool looking cards <laughs> so that's kind of like more or less um, the reason why I picked these up is just because the they did a really cool job, I think, with actually um, uh, pushing the boundaries in terms of style and adding the Godzilla stuff I thought was pretty cool. Um, I don't want it to get to the point where it's like sponsored stuff too much. You know, the, the new movie's coming out and the next Magic set is going to have all the characters from that movie. I think that will be kind of corny and will get old real quick. But, I mean, I love Godzilla. Um, and it fits kind of with Magic um, in terms of like the theme and everything. So I'm kind of okay with it. I really like some of the cool card styles in here so uh, enough of my blabbering let's just get to the you guys are probably like oh, i already tuned out um so yeah let's open these up um and see what we got in here so oh wow i literally had the guy he had to open up a new booster box to get these out so I don't really know the order of this either. I'm just looking for some cool looking cards and these will probably be the only ones that I open, but let's see what we got. So we got Dinosaur Beast, a foiled token, a uh, foil common adaptive shimmer. The foil seems to be kind of cool in these two compared to, it seems like more foily. I mean, it's not quite old school vintage foil, but it's better than some of the other stuff. Um, that uh, has been recent. So we got Evolving Wilds, uh, Plummet, Raking Claws, Monstrous Step. We got Alert Heedbonder, a Foiled Island, and then our Commander. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a Commander card in here. We got Kazura Ruthless Stalker. Uh, unsure if that's really that good or not. Um, we have a Genesis Ultimatum, extended art. I don't know if that's the full art or the extended, but that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, we have a Jingatha, the Wellspring. Um, here's talking about companions. Here we go. We got a foil one. Um, we have a Migratory Great Horn as one of the, like, cartoonish looking cards. Uh, Majestic Hourcorn. Um, no, yeah, this is actually really cool. We got a, a, a gem razor, uh, for another one of these guys. And then a baby Godzilla, um, which is the, I think this is the, the Godzilla variant. I think you get one with each one. And then a foiled glowstone recluse. So, yeah, these are just, I mean, they're just cool looking cards. And I wanted to at least have, you know, 
a few of them. So um, that's cool. Let's get into the second second pack. So it seems like the first few until you get to uh, the land. I'm assuming there's a foil land with all of these. Um, that uh, after that, that's when actually like the hits start coming. But got a uh, foiled cat, windscarred crag, ferocious tigerilla, mutual destruction, a lava serpent, jubilant skybounder, Savai Thundermane. Then we've got a swamp. Awesome. Swamp. So that's cool. Then for the commander card, we have a Crystalline Resonance. Then our, I don't know if this is the extended art again, the Unpredictable Cyclone. Then we have a Foiled Garuda which I absolutely hate this card because it promotes use of uh, Agent of Treachery and you keep stealing my stuff and that's just, sorry, it's not fun magic for me. So, I mean, cool looking card, but. Um, then we have a Archipelagor, a Chittering Harvester. Then we have, ooh, the Mythic Vivian Monsters Advocate. That's kind of a cool looking card. Then we have, ooh, nice. Uh, got another Mythic. That's the other thing too, is there's like, seems like you get a ton of Mythics in these. Biocourt Space Godzilla. <laughs> That's an awesome name, but it's Brockos Apex of Forever. I actually like this, this card isn't bad. Um, and Mutate isn't like a bad uh, mechanic. It's just, you know, removal will just destroy it so um any sort of removal and then the last card is a uh, we got a foil migratory gray horn so cool yeah i mean i kind of got what i wanted you know a mix of some cool you know freaking space godzilla we got you know gem razor viv um in the alternate like comic book art you know did get uh, a couple of the companions garuda and jingatha um so yeah overall you know pretty happy really cool looking cards and i'll have these but again i'm probably not going to be opening a lot of these packs so alrighty, thank you for watching uh check out my other videos if you haven't um and as always any suggestions on cool stuff you'd like to see me open let me know all right have a good one guys